let's get into video seven. We're still just solving equations, but now we're gonna see some distribution and combining like terms inside of our equations. So I want you to zoom on down to the bottom. Your paper might not have this much room down here. We're gonna actually start on this bottom row. So looking at the 20. I wanna remind us that the goal of solving any equation is to isolate the variable. That's still the same as what we've been doing this whole time. The tool that we're gonna use is still inverse operations to cancel things out. That hasn't changed. The golden rule is still to keep things balanced. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other side. Okay, and we're still following SADMAP. So when we get down to it, we're canceling out any adding and subtracting first. That's a D. Any adding and subtracting first before we cancel out any multiplication or division. Okay, so we're going to do these bottom two questions together first. I know you don't have a ton of room on your paper, or if you don't have a ton of room, that's okay. Follow along with me. Here we go. The key is that we do have to distribute first. I can't start canceling things out until after I've distributed, okay? So here's my variable. I'm trying to get a Q by itself. I want to end up with Q all alone at the bottom. But I see that this 8 needs to be distributed, so I'm going to multiply that out. 8 times Q is 8Q, and 8 times negative 11 is negative 88. So I've distributed and now I copy down everything else. Remember we only do one step at a time and carefully copy it down. Okay, you probably also noticed that we have some like terms we can combine. I have some constants that I can put together. Positive 20 and negative 88. Remember, different signs, I'm gonna subtract those. You can go off and do it, or just 88 minus 20 is 68. And then I still have the 8Q. Bring everything down. And now this looks like a normal two-step equation that we've been doing. So now get rid of adding and subtracting first, minus 68 from both sides. Well, when I put those together, I and oh sorry, that's a negative 68. My negative was bigger here, should have gotten negative 68. So I'm gonna cancel it by adding 68 to both sides. Now those cancel out. Bring down my 8Q. And again, different signs subtract. Go over here and do it if you need to, but 68 and negative 12 should give me 56. And my last step would be to divide by eight on both sides, and Q is equal to seven. Okay. Let's try this one in the middle. Line down the equal sign, trying to get D by itself. There it is. I know I'm gonna have to distribute. I mean, if it helps you to find your variable at the very beginning and to write down that you're trying to get D alone. All right, well, one and a half times two would be three D. One and a half times negative one, minus one and a half, and copy everything down carefully. Again, I have some like terms. Five minus one and a half is three and a half. And now this is just a normal two-step equation. Cancel out adding and subtracting. Minus three and a half on both sides. Go over and do that if you need to stack them up and do that work. But one half minus three and a half is gonna give me negative three. Bring everything down. Remember to cross things out as you cancel them out. And my final step to get rid of multiplying by three is gonna be divide by three on both sides. And I get negative one. All right, so we'll head back up here and you should have enough room to work these out. We'll do two more together and then I'll let you do the practice. All right, lined on the equal sign. Highlight the variable if that helps you to find it 
and put it down at the bottom. We're trying to get x by itself. So I do see a number outside of my parentheses. I'm going to draw those arrows and distribute first. 4 times 7x is 28x. 4 times 8 is 32. If it's positive, put a plus sign and copy everything down. Now it's just a two-step equation. Get rid of adding and subtracting first. So minus 32 on both sides. 28x equals, you can go ahead and do this subtraction. Let's see, 6, 56. And final step, cancel out multiplication and division with the inverse operation here. And I get 2. Okay, I'm going to remind you that we should be taking this answer. Take that 2, and if I plug it back in here, I should be able to work this out, and it will make 88. It is your job to check your answers. Plug them back in and make sure they actually work. Best way to catch your own mistakes. All right, last one I'm going to do. Draw the line down the equal sign. Highlight my variable. I'm trying to get x by itself. All right, I do see that I need to distribute here. Paying attention to the fact that this is a negative 5 and this is a negative 7. Okay, negative 5 times 5x. Negative 5 times negative 7 is positive 35. Bring everything else down. All right, no like terms to combine. I'm ready to just start canceling things out to get x by itself. So cancel adding and subtracting first. Cross it out. Carefully bring everything down. And 135 minus 35 gives me 100. Final step, cancel out multiplying and dividing with the inverse operation. Cross it out, bring everything down, and I got negative 4. Okay, there are four more problems here. I want you to work those out. Do not hit play until you've done those to the best of your ability and you're ready to check your answers. So remember, we should have lines down the equal sign, arrows for what needs to be distributed, line down the equal sign, arrows. And if you come across any like terms, Combine those like terms before you start canceling things out, okay? Like I can see here, I'm going to have G's and G's. Figure out how many G's you have before you end up canceling things out. Or here I probably will have constants and constants that I need to put together before I start canceling things out. All right, so you're finishing those four. Show all your work. Okay, let's check these one at a time. Here's um, the last one in this top row. I drew my arrows and distributed. Got negative 14x minus 21. Nothing to combine here, no like terms. So start canceling things out with the, start with adding and subtracting. Okay, I realize this negative is bigger, so I still have negative 98. And then I'm dividing by negative 14 on both sides. Maybe you go over to the side and do that. 98 divided by 14 right? And a negative divided by a negative is a positive. So might you have to go over to the side and do some work? Yep, you might. Okay, next one down here. I distributed the 6, so I got 24x. And remember, this is a negative 1, so that gave me negative 6. So the inverse of negative 6 is plus 6. Fix this as you're checking if you need to. Bring everything down. Here my signs were different, so different signs subtract, but I still have a negative. And then my final step was to divide by 24 on both sides, and I got negative 10. Remember, it is your job to put this negative 10 back in for x and check to make sure it works, especially on a quiz or a test. Okay, this one, we did have to distribute. We were distributing a negative four. So that gave me negative 12g and positive 20 when I distributed. 
and then bring down the plus 10G. Now I do have like terms, so I color coded those, boxed them, whatever. Realize that you have G's and G's that need to be put together first here. So negative 12 and 10 is 2G, and then plus 20. Then I can start canceling things out. Minus 20 on both sides, then divide by negative 2 on both sides, and yes, we got a fraction. So could you possibly get a fraction answer? You could. Negative 1 half there. And the last one, distribute, rewrite everything, bring it all down. Okay, I put my two and four together to make six, and then don't lose this negative. That is still negative 10x that needs to be brought down. These sixes do cancel, minus six on both sides. Negative eight and negative six make negative 14. Final step is to divide by negative 10 on both sides. And yes, I got a decimal, 1.4, right? 14 divided by 10 is 1.4. Or maybe you did um, turn it into a mixed number, 1 in 4 tenths. Or that can be simplified 1 in 2 fifths. That would also work. So you might get fractions, you might get decimal answers. That happens. All right, that's the end of video 7.